They dodged an environmental bullet. That's the mood along much of the Florida panhandle a year after the BP oil spill devastated many parts of the Gulf Coast. What may be in store for the long term? News Channel 5's Michael Williams talked with a marine biologist today, and he's joining us tonight live from Desden. Michael? Good evening, Jim. They don't make postcards prettier than this one. And economically speaking, they feel very good about where they are a year after the BP oil spill along the Emerald Coast here. That's the Destin area, 50 miles east of Pensacola. But in other ways, looks may be deceiving. What's going on beneath the waves, beneath the surface out there? More than 4 million barrels of oil that scientists say spilled when the Deepwater Horizon blew doesn't just go away. And what will it mean for the future? This is our Kemp's Ridley. We named it Sea Biscuit. Marine biologist Lisa Crawford mines the recovery of sea turtles that were stranded or otherwise in need of care along the Florida panhandle. Crawford works at the Gulf Arium in Fort Walton Beach. She recalled those anxious months last year when the BP oil spill blanketed a huge swath of the Gulf of Mexico, though the Fort Walton Beach Destin area was largely spared. It was very scary and very sad because, you know, sea turtles, especially green sea turtles, are endangered species. Mm -hmm. And so for it to get wiped out in our area is very upsetting. The worst did not happen along the panhandle. Crawford does not recall one oil-drenched turtle coming in for care here. Sadly, she notes that was not the case farther west in Mississippi and beyond. And we're definitely, you know, concerned about how it's going to affect the species, especially the bigger animals that live further out. You hear that a lot one year after the catastrophic oil spill, worry about what is still brewing far out in the Gulf and far beneath the waves. Talk about that. Um, well, as the oil spreads, I mean, the deeper down it goes, it'll affect other wildlife animals, and not to mention, you know, their homes, their ecosystems. Um, it might start to deteriorate, deteriorate coral reefs. So many questions about the long-term health of the Gulf's vital and often fragile ecology. So many questions scientists and residents along the Gulf Coast will wrestle with for years, perhaps decades to come. A live look now at the Gulf here in Destin. Indeed, all of us will have a stake in the answers that scientists find about what's going on in the Gulf months, years, even decades from now. Meanwhile, other news today revealed that yet another company has joined the long list suing BP, Miami-based Carnival Cruise Line suing now, alleging it suffered damages in terms of fuel and shipping and cleanup costs and lost revenue and bookings, and because of that, has filed a U.S.-based suit against BP, which has set aside billions for damages here. The legal maneuverings, like the environmental questions, will go on for a long, long time to come. Economically, they feel better. They're moving forward. It's all part of a continuing story here in the Florida Panhandle and along the Gulf. Reporting live from Destin, Michael Williams, WPTV News Channel 5.